Today I want to share with you how I found my dream job and work I loved. The reason why I want to share this with you is I know how important it is to so many of you to try to figure out what to do with your life, both with your career and what direction to go in because if you spend nine hours a day at a job you hate, there's nothing that can make you so unhappy. Now in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to my long winding path to finding the work I view as my calling. Hey guys, Alex here, author of Master the Day. Now the first thing I want to impress upon you is that it was a very, very long winding journey. Even though I'm 29 now, at 22, I was already thinking about how to find work I loved. I was thinking about it daily. You know, I tried, started and quit 15 jobs before I was 30. And still, it took all of those pieces to be able to find the work that I loved. And it's funny now, tying this into the weight loss and fitness, I find that people being unhappy at their jobs is one of the biggest sources of stress and emotional eating, which is one of the biggest things leading to most of my clients gaining weight. Now, back to my own journey, first things first, my book, Milk the Pigeon, A Field Guide for Anyone Lost in Their 20s, comes out this coming Monday, December 5th, this coming Monday. Now, if you still want to get an early review copy, it is only available for one more day because you're not going to read a 230-page book in five days unless you read really fast or you love it. But if you want, sign up for the Early Bird launch team there below. And what I'm looking for is people who are also willing to review the book on Amazon. You're not obligated to do this, but to me, the point of you being an early reviewer is that I want your feedback on the book. That's kind of the whole point. And so if you want to participate in the launch, click that link there below. Now, as far as my journey goes, it was very, very winding. Like when I moved back from China and I had no damn clue what to do with my life, I just took any job I could that sounded cool. For like six months, it was any job I could get. It wasn't even a choice of whether or not I liked it. So I worked a bunch of BS part-time jobs. One job I was interested in was working part-time at a Chinese medicine clinic because I was still trying to figure out if Chinese medicine was something I'd seriously considered doing, like if it was an actual career of mine that I thought about going down sometime down the road. Now, ironically, I got fired from that job, even though it was fairly boring, because the business owner, she told me that she was looking for people that wanted to be there long term, and she heard that I'd started a business, even though I was making zero dollars, she still said, hey Alex, maybe you shouldn't come back tomorrow. The next job there was working at a startup, because I figured, you know, it's cool to be a small business, I never want to work in a corporate setting, maybe what I really love is working at a startup. A bunch of young people, a bunch of ambitious people, a bunch of people that say f*** all the time like I do. I was like, this has got to be the place for me. So I go work for this startup and I end up sending like 300 cold emails a day. Hi, my name is from this. We're from this. Would you like to sign up for this? 300 a day. And after wanting to die, thankfully after six months, they only hired us for an internship. So I was out of there. After that, it got even crappier where I got a door-to-door -door sales job. And I was actually applying for this. So what I did was I had to go up and intern for a day with this sales team where we would literally walk from door to door trying to sell Verizon Fios service. Now, I didn't want this job. It was not related to my passion at all. But if it was a way to earn money, then I would have to do it. And that's just like, I just had to make money. I had to get paid. I had to move out of my parents' house. And so I did this job. And after going into one of the local businesses and the guy saying, I told you to never come in here again. After like getting screamed at, I was, the salesperson was not intimidated, but I was like, why are we selling things that people don't want? How many, how many freaking times have you talked to this guy if he's just screamed at you? And of course, after the door to door sales job, then I got a boring marketing job. At least it was consistent pay. Did that for about a year and then quit. And then on the side, I started this site called Modern Health Monk. Now, Keep going, years, 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 years. That was almost four years ago I started Modern Health Monk, my site. And in that intervening time, I got another job. Now, my mom was also working at a company, and they had a new entry-level job, so they just paid me $12 an hour to do a bunch of little BS work for them. And for me, I took it just because it was remote, so I could work from home or I could work from a coffee shop, I could travel, and then I could just do whatever I wanted and not work a lot of hours. So for a summer... I just got this $12 an hour job and I worked from Taiwan, the Philippines, and from China just for a few months to see if I liked being a nomad. Realized I hated working remotely because I like separating work and life and then realized I was back at square one. So in this time, all the while, three hours a day I was spending building Modern Health Monk. 
I was learning how to be a better writer, how to start shooting videos, how to build an audience, how to write books, all of these things, all of these strategies that I needed to do to actually become more successful at this craft that I had no idea about. Again, I had no idea how to do any of this stuff before then. My college degree didn't provide me with any of those skills. My parents didn't make any magical connections besides that nice part-time job that I got from my mom's company that she was working at there. But it was during this, this phase, this ugly phase of trying out all of these things that, one, I ended up being able to learn how to actually have a business. And then two, I was reading this book, Mastery, one day. This book, Mastery, by Robert Greene. And I'm in California. My sister, we're on vacation. And my sister is just looking at me. She's saying, you're smiling a lot while you're reading. What are you reading? And I realized I was reading this book, Mastery, by Robert Greene, about how people became masters. And I caught myself visualizing myself as this doctor of Chinese medicine with my medical books on one side, herbs hanging off the ceiling, drying, just world-renowned for being so good at treating illnesses that normal doctors could not fix. And some kind of peace came together. And that was when I realized that Chinese medicine was the thing I'd always wanted to do. And from the day I had that little vision, the, that fire never went away. I thought about it daily. I dreamt about it. I started reading books about it. I, the next week, I flew out and I saw all the schools of California and in Oregon. And so it just set my heart on fire there. And what I want to impress upon you is that if you look at my whole journey, look at how friggin' messy that was. I, it's not like last year I just started thinking, huh, I wonder what I'm passionate about. I did that seven years ago. And it still took me seven years of trial and error to get to where I am. Don't you think I would have killed to have... Imagine if I started YouTube videos when I was 18 instead of 28. I, actually, I started YouTube when I was 29 years old. Imagine where I could be if I was 18. Imagine if I knew my calling when I was 18 or 10 years old. God, I could have been a savant by now. But that's the way the journey goes. Like, that's the whole process of finding... Oprah has this corny but important quote that the greatest... Something like the greatest adventure you'll ever go on is the adventure or journey of following your dreams. Because look at that. That has been... That's like been like a storybook those last seven years of just failure. <laughs> Never even made $40,000 a year in those last seven years. Besides the first job I got before China, teaching assistant, I've never made, even made $40,000 before I started working for myself. And so if you're trying to figure out the path, you're trying to figure out what work speaks to you, number one, be patient. But number two, get testing. Start testing all the various things along the way. Be strategic. Think. Deliberate. Think about what did you not like? What did you like? Because... There's no guarantee. For example, they've done studies and they found that just because a surgeon or a startup CEO fails does not guarantee future success. The only thing that guarantees future success is if the surgeon, the doctor, the CEO, the parent, the student, if they reflect on what did not work and then they change their habits or their strategy in the future. That's pretty crazy because we assume that with age comes knowledge and wisdom, but I don't really agree. I really don't agree that someone twice my age is twice as wise. Because what I see is a lot of people that are not healthy, that are not happy, that are not doing work they love. So why would I take their advice in those three domains of life? I don't know. You tell me. Give me a very good reason. Now, one other final closing idea here is the idea of stacking the bricks. Will Smith, in an interview, talks about this story where his dad had he and his brother, I'm heavily paraphrasing it, but I talk about it in my book, he talks about his brother, he and his brother, being told by the dad to build this brick wall. And it's huge, tons and tons of bricks. And then they're like, how are we going to assemble this brick wall? And the dad says, you don't build a wall by building a wall. You build a wall by putting one brick as perfectly as you can lay it at a time. And then you take the next brick, you lay it as perfectly as you can lay it right now. And then eventually, over time, you've got a wall. And this idea of stacking the bricks is how I found my dream job, my passion, the work I want to do every day. And I want to encourage you to no matter where you are in the journey, keep stacking those bricks. Keep stacking the bricks over and over and over. And one of the bricks is going to be the jackpot. One of the bricks is going to be the work you love. And one of the bricks is going to be the thing, one of the things you want to do every day, not you have to do every day. Now again, my book comes out on Monday. I've also got a whole bunch of incentives if you buy multiple books. 
for yourself or for friends, including one-to-one coaching calls with me, uh, access to one of my online courses, and so on. So, the way to get all the details is, first of all, remember, this is not just me giving a book for free. If you want to join this and get the digital book free, please leave an Amazon review, an honest one. Please actually read the book and leave a review. Don't just leave a review if you haven't read it. But again, you can see all the details there below. When you click that, you're going to sign up for an email list. That's going to give you a welcome message. And then a few minutes later, the copy of the book. So again, it's been doing, it's been having great feedback so far. But Monday, we go live and I need your help. All right, I need your help for reviews. And if you wouldn't mind, if this interests you to buy the book, the best way to get it to rank higher is to leave a review and to actually buy it. You can buy the Kindle version. It's the cheapest. It'll be like seven bucks or something. So that's what's up here. Now, before we go, I want you to leave a comment there below. For you, what has been one of your biggest questions about how to find work you love? Leave that comment there below. Hey guys, it's Alex. Did you like this video? If so, there are really two ways you can stay in touch with me. The first thing is to go over, click the monk, and subscribe so you get the next video right when it's out. I'm releasing at least three videos per week, but often a lot more. The next thing is, come on over and check out my book, Master the Day. It's called Master the Day, Eat, Move, and Live Better with the Power of Daily Habits. And it's all about the tiny daily success habits that I learned interviewing people that lost over 100 pounds and kept it off years later in a healthy way. The success habits to not only get your dream body, but also your dream life. And as a special thank you, if you get the book, send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com. I'll send you a one hour bonus video course for free. And one important piece of it is an hour sit down success story with my friend and my student, Mike, who lost 30 pounds. So you can go check that out on Amazon right there. The next thing is come on over to my site, modernhealthmonk.com. I've got a free guide for you there five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon.